Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has a box in it. And then I've got two completion reviews to show you, uh, which I've been working on ooh, over the last couple of months. And yeah, um, this one needs to go up on my wall, so I need to show you it quickly. <laughs> Okay, um, these were all sent to me by the great people at fgnormal.com and um, they were sent to me as part of PR packages. So huge thank you to FG Normal for sending me them. Thoroughly enjoyed doing these projects, they've been absolutely fab and I can't wait to show you what's in this package. Yay! Okay, um, there are lots of special offers on at the moment. Um, on FG Normal, if you do go and pop over to the website, there is up to 23% off on the website, so go and check that out. And there is uh, free shipping over £40. So, yeah, I'll put some screenshots in of the current special offers. As I always say, uh, the special offers are as I'm making the video. Obviously, if you're watching it later on, uh, they may have changed. But they usually have some fantastic special offers. So, do go and check them out. Okay. Let's have a look at these pictures first. So where shall we look? Where shall we look? Let's look at the gnome. Sorry, gonk first. Don't you think that has just come out absolutely gorgeous? Look at the border with the uh, iridescent coated orange and then the green leaves. That has got so much sparkle. See if I can get it to sparkle in the light. Yeah, you're just catching it and then all like the little lemony coloured daisies and then happy spring all in green and then we've got our ladybirds and our gorgeous lemony flowers there and then all these orange flowers on his hat which actually look more sort of lemony orange rather than just bright orange as they do on the edges it's funny because these have got like the white and the red they look a different colour to these or they do to my eye anyway and then he's got look little bows in his beard. <laughs> his hat resembles a lady bird, which is red with his black spots. And then we've got two lady birds here. There's one there. Look, I'm surprised he's not sneezing because that one's so close to his nose. It must be tickling his nose. All right, and he's just going to sneeze and the petals on this flower are going to go whoof and disappear off. We've got another lady bird in between these flowers. Look, and then the big one there. But happy spring. And this has just been a really happy, great, fun painting to do. It's edged in just silver crystals all the way around. And then at the bottom, we've got like patchwork effect uh, where sometimes there's two uh, coat of the same colour together and sometimes there's only one. And it just is so effective just to finish off the bottom there. And then it matches in with the blue on this gorgeous vase here. Um, actually, it's more like an umbrella stand, isn't it, this? Because it's quite large. Um, and it's got the lemon bits on it as well and the black. It's a bit art deco -y, really. Mm. And then the gorgeous flowers coming out of it. And just the little swirls for interest. And we've got a little swirl of a flower there as well. I just think it's stunning. Really, really enjoyed doing it. And yeah, this one will be going straight up on my wall once I've uh, got it cut out and put downstairs already. Uh, there was lots of drills left over as usual. Great quality, great sticky, great uh, application, went down no problem whatsoever. Really, really loved doing it, enjoyed doing it. Right, so we've got our standard silvers, so they will be going in my silver jar. We've got our, God, look how many of these I've got left from those flowers. I could probably do another painting with those. That is amazing. I've got that gorgeous red. And then a pale lemon. Uh, we've got the goldy colour there. We've got the large uh, rounds from the centres of the flowers look. Again, lots left over. It's uh, excellent. I do like my spares. Uh, a couple of greens left over. Your goldy colour. Your standard black to go in my jar, a little bit of blue, then the marquees in the green, and then lots of those left over. Look, that were all the leaves around the edges. I love that effect with the orange and this colour. 
it just uh, really does go together on the canvas really pretty and then some large blacks there and then look at those absolutely stunning and lots left so i'm going to put those into the packets And they will all go into my standard gems for colour matching. Okay, so that is number one that I got done. I'll leave the links all down below in the description box. So if you do want to see these, and um, there's the link to the unboxing video as well. And then the fish. And when I unboxed this, I said I wasn't keen on him having a red eye. Now, I did put a black round on there instead of the red and it just didn't look right so what do i know <laughs> so he does have a red center of his eye and it just works and the colors and the flowers and all the different gems it's just gorgeous the way it's all come together absolutely love it and it's only a little painting and it's got 13 different gems and colors and all these different colors here the charting is brilliant We've got like the greeny, uh, bluey colour here leading to, on the end of the fins, the iridescent coated marquees. Just the way that they've got the scales and the shading of it and the bubbles. I just love it. It's so pretty. Yay. Okay. Uh, again, quite a few leftovers. So we have, again, the standard black. I do think you do need on some of these pictures, particularly when it is all crystal, just a standard plain colour, um, just to sort of ground it, just to make everything else stand out. If this had been holy crystal, I think you would have lost a lot of the detail because it would have just been too much. Whereas like the leaves in this corner, just draw your eye away a little bit. Um, and on his fin here, it just makes the blue there stand out more because you've got this like, I would say dull, but the, just the black to just ground it a little bit, shall we say. Okay, so that's your black. We've got your aqua, your green, red, and then that lovely purpley colour, blue. We just have one of the eye left, just in case we lost one. <laughs> so that's that one. Got a couple of the greens left there. And a few of the little iridescent coated marquees there that were all the ends of the fins. Really clever idea that, I love that. Some of the larger blue ones there. A uh, larger, well, sort of medium size, aren't they? The blue and the aqua. Again, the way that they're all dotted around and all here. And at the ends of like the fins, it's just amazing. Oh, I've missed one, look. I've missed one. Yeah, that was the green. Let me just pop that one back down. Goodness me, fancy missing that, Liz. Okay. Mind you, that's the trouble um, when I'm doing some of these sometimes. Uh, because the picture's so good, I miss things. So there you are, look. <laughs> he's completed now. I was fibbing when I said he was done because he's not there was one missing. <laughs> okay, uh, I think I've shown you those. And the blues. And then some larger in the red as well. And then a couple of little flowers left over. Well, actually, they're quite big flowers, aren't they? Which were just there on him on his little fins there but yeah really enjoyed doing these i say absolutely stunning pictures so they will be going into my uh, color matched gems and these will all go into my specials so i will be doing a cutting down on all these specials that i've got because as you can see i did do a massive amount of special drill paintings okay so just pop those over there out of the way and let's have a look at what we got this time so as i say i can feel a box and i think this is a brand new project um, that i've not seen before so oh look it's not giving anything away it's just a plain box and then we have another one yay Okay, so let's look at this one first. And this is a cute little bag with a turtle on it. Actually, it's got quite a few turtles on it. And I think it is just a handy little bag if you just wanted to go out and maybe just take your phone and your purse and you don't want to be hefting around your great big handbag. 
um it's got handles on the top which i do always like having the extra handles on the top so if you've got it sat somewhere you can pick it up by the handles because if you're like me and you pick up a handbag or a bag by the straps quite often everything will tip out because you'll pick it up the wrong way and um, maybe that's just me but uh, yeah so i do like bags that have the handles on the top and and this is a very expandable handle as well look at the length of that that's doubled over there so it's going to be a lovely cross body bag and i would think it would fit most people look at the length of that strap wow that's brilliant okay so let's just bring that in a little bit as well nice good solid like webbing strap as well so you're not going to get this set uh, breaking on you at all a good strap and the handles are good and let me just take the bits out the middle we've got a little a tool kit there pen boat and wax and oh look we only have three different gems oh we've got a hot pink yay hot pink gold and aqua very nice okay so it's like um a flat bottomed um bag as well it's got a little gusset in the bottom oh looks very nicely finished off so oh i like this one look he's on the bottom swimming up there and i like the fact that it's all finished off we've got an extra one there look and one swimming here so it's all got the edges done so it's quite a nice little like bucket bag i suppose you'd maybe call it so once it's got stuff in it it will stand so as i say if you're picking it up then it is quite nice to pick it up um by the handles rather than just you can't see that very well can you <laughs> can you see inside now yeah you can see look it's all nicely stitched so we've got the picture at this side has got um a white side and then the other side is black there but there's enough to get your purse and uh, your phone and whatever um, and any little bits and pieces that you need rather than taking a great big bag when you go out and I do like the fact as I say that it's got your strap so you can put it cross body as well so if you say go into a theme park um, or somewhere where you don't want a big bag but you do need your bits and pieces with you then you can just put this across your body and you can put your arm across it as well to stop people taking things so, but yeah but the colours on that I think the underneath colours are going to sort of colour your gems as well so number one is all around here and around his head and his shell here and then number two as you can see there look um are all across here and then number three is finishing off all the other bits as well so it it's just the three colours but I think once they're on there you'll get the different shading with the colours underneath as well and with the black it will make it all pop but yeah, and that one is £5.99 on the website at the moment. So I think that's brilliant, and particularly even for children, you know, because children do have a tendency of leaving bags, uh, picking them up and putting them down um, and leaving them. So if you can put it sort of across body, then uh, they're not going to lose it quite so much. But there's quite a few different designs in this one as well. And I think it is one of the newer ones that's come out. So it's like a nice, oh, just got a few threads stuck on the back there. Look, that's nothing. Um, it's a nice material sort of canvas uh, on the back there. If you can, yeah, you can, you can see, look, you've got your canvas there. And then it's your nice wipe clean plastic on the front. Again, because um, it is probably going to be handled quite a bit and used quite a bit, I would just seal the uh, image on the front so that you're not going to lose your drills. They're not going to move. I'll give it a quick measure. It's uh, a nice little size. I'm looking all over for my tape measure and it's like waving at me from the corner. Hello, I'm over here. <laughs> so we'll do it sort of flat, I think. Um, and then I'll, I'll measure the sort of width, the gusset on the bottom. So that way it is 23-ish centimetres, which is about nine inches. And then the depth is about seven inches, which is 18 centimetres. And then the gusset at the bottom, just measure across there. 
is about seven centimeters which is roughly three inches so yeah it's got a good de depth to it so that you can put uh, quite a bit in there so it's uh, a nice little bag i like that and i do like the pattern as well I do like the turtle so i'll put those back in there so we don't lose them keep all my bits together Okay, go back over there, Mr. Turtle, and then we'll have a look at this one. And I say this, so this is a brand new one that's just come onto the website. And I thought, oh, I'll have to get that to have a look at it and have a try. So nice box with it in. And it's one of these pictures with the picture frame. Okay. So let's have a look at this one and see what it's like. I do like trying new things, as you know. Ooh, oh, we've got a stamp with it as well. Okay, uh, the price of this one on the website at the moment is £9.99. So, oh, oh, I like that. Okay, wow. So we have uh, one of the Disney princesses. Is she like a Rapunzel character? I'm not quite sure. I've not seen that film. It's all clear acrylic behind it. And then you've got all the diamond pins. All the gems are going to go on this gorgeous frame along with all the edging here so it's a very ornate frame and then your character in the middle and then as i say it's uh, see-through quite nice actually if you put like a mirror tile behind that and then you could use it as like a mirror i know you've got your character in the middle but you could still have like your mirror in the background as well probably look quite good it's all scalloped on the edge there look if you can see you've got all your different uh, frame there is all scalloped so once the gems are on it is just going to look like the frame with it being clear and then we've got a great stand look at that wow that's a real nice quality as well oh sorry it's got a bit of a squeak wants a bit of a tumble dry sheet just putting in between it uh, but yeah look at that so once she's done you will just then stand her rather than it having to go on the wall you can just stand her in her stand now that is definitely crying out to me to put a bit of a mirror tile or something on the back or mirrored material you can get like mirrored foil can't you just to put on the back and i would just put it not behind the actual um frame bit but just behind that bit if you could just measure it out and then yeah you've got like I mean, if you're just wanting to look and just check if you've got your mascara or if your mascara's running, or just check that your hair's not sticking up at all angles before uh, you answer the door or something, then, you know, that sort of mirror. There does seem to be quite a trend on mirrored things at the moment as well. So I think she's very, very pretty. Oh, I like that. There is quite um, a few different styles of this as well, but I just liked this one because I know somebody that will like this one. Uh, and yes, I like it, but it will be going to somebody else. So we've got our standard toolkit with some little rib seal bags in there. Oh, and it's all bagged up ready. Yay. And look, the top colour is hopping. Okay. Right. So we have our hot pink. We have a paler pink. We have a lovely crystal. Let's see if we can put these in order. One, two, three. Uh, we've got a pale greeny lemon colour, number five. That number four there is a nice orangey, ambery colour there. Okay. And number six is this nice lemon gold colour. To put them up the other way so that I can see what I'm doing. Uh, where's number seven? Number seven is this lovely pinky purpley colour number eight is your nice lilac mauve colour number nine is another gold i think a lot of these are going to be the edging on the frame as well uh, number 10 we've got the like half sphere gold there with no facets on okay number 11 is some little teeny tiny marquees with an iridescent coating on Number 12 is the, oh look, it's the rounds that have got the little star stamped into them. That Thirteen is some little blue teardrops. Fourteen is some little pearl teardrops with an iridescent coating. And number 15, gosh, 
is some very little teeny tiny teardrops there. Excellent. Okay, so lovely colour palette, lovely bright colours and lots of specials. Oh, love that. Including the hot pink, yay! <laughs> so we have had our lovely little princess in her frame already done. Do like that, I say they're acrylic and it looks so uh, the printing is on the top as well so we won't end up with any skewed perspectives when we're putting the gems on we'll be looking straight down onto them oh we've got an escapee there just pop that on one side could have come out of one of the other packets and our little bag oh we haven't measured a halfway let me give her a quick measure okay the tape measure's sat there waving at me as well uh so yep yeah, this one is 19 centimeters across which is a seven and a half inches so she's a nice little size as well and then it's 24 and a half centimeters which is about nine and a three quarter inches okay the size if you wanted to get a piece of mirror which i think i'm gonna have to do i'll probably put it from there to there is 15 centimeters which is about six inches by 20 centimetres which is eight inches so it's quite a nice standard size as well mm. yeah i think i might have to give that a go so that's our princess there and then our lovely little turtle and our two completions as well which have been a fish and a gunk so yeah fairy tales and sea creatures today <laughs> A huge thank you to FG Normal for sending me these. Absolutely love them. They're uh, great. I do like trying something new and I think that is uh, going to be quite a winner. I think the person who gets that one will love it. Yay. And I love my little bag. Although I think that might go walkies as well when somebody else spots it. Okay. Well, as I say, huge thank you FG Normal for sending me these. Uh, thank you to you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, a thumbs up is always much appreciated. Any comments or questions in the comments down below. And if you want to come back, see what we get up to next and join our little family, then you can do that by pressing that subscribe button down in this corner. And then the all notifications bell that pops up and that'll notify you when any of my videos go up. So you're not going to miss anything. Yay. Okay. Thanks ever so much for stopping by. And I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.